had no choice. I mean, I, I, I had a choice. I could have sat there and watched them kill a friend of mine of color. But I wasn't going to do that. You know, that, that was the straw that broke the camel's back. My name is Michael Forrest Rynell. Born and raised in Portland, Oregon. 48 years old. You know, lots of lawyers suggest that I shouldn't even be saying anything, but I feel it's important that the world at least gets a little bit of what's really going on because there's been a lot of propaganda put out there. Um, what I will say is that I felt that my life and other people around me's lives were in danger. And I felt like I had no choice but to do what I did. I wasn't even aware of what was going on. I was actually out with my son. We were driving through town and we happened to see hundreds of trucks with flags on them. And so I notified my friends of what I'd seen and finished what I was doing with my son, got home and then uh, received a phone call saying that uh, it might be a good idea to come down there and security may be needed. Um, not knowing what that would entail. I had no idea what I was going into. I used to really love this country and I respected the flag and everything that it represented. But because of all this, every time I see a big truck, especially with a flag on it, I immediately think that they're out to get me. There were 600 vehicles who knows how many were rolling through downtown, but like I said, when I showed up, I saw more of their vehicles than real citizen vehicles. It, 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 it felt like the beginning of a war. It was a free-for-all and the police were letting it happen. Right after it happened, what did you, did you panic? Did you run? Well, honestly, you know, those are a bit of details I probably don't want to get into other than just simply saying that, you know, I realized what had happened. I was confident that I did not hit anyone innocent. And I made my exit. You okay? And, and just to reiterate, you, you feel that it was totally justified? Totally justified. Had I not acted, I am confident that my friend and I'm sure I would have been killed because I wasn't going to stand there and let something happen. What they've done is they're trying to make it look like we're all terrorists and they're trying to make me look like a murderer. I've noticed that they keep saying that it's not clear that it's related to the protests. That's a lie. They know that it's related to the protests. Um, not to mention the fact that they say that they don't know who it was. That's a lie. Within an hour, Facebook and, and, and Twitter and all that have my face and name labeled as the shooter. Black Lives Matter! They want to paint a picture of Antifa having major involvement. A lot of people don't understand what Antifa represents. And if you just look at the, the basic definition of it, it's just anti-fascist. And I am 100% anti-fascist. I'm not a member of Antifa. I'm not a member of anything. Honestly, I hate to say it, but I see a civil war right around the corner. That shot felt like the beginning of a war. Yeah, yeah, yeah.